my name's Tom Foreman. Welcome to the first instalment of Nash TV Video Diaries. Uh, I'm in a lucky position here at Nash where I get to see a lot of the day-to-day -day runnings of the company, a lot of the behind-the-scenes stuff and the things that you don't normally see. Um, hence why they've given me this camera. In this first instalment we go to Chickwood Fisheries uh, to see Alan Blair wrestle some catfish. Um, we're in our photo studio, a little behind-the-scenes look at our latest jigsaw clothing shoot. Um, and we get Mikey Wilson in the shower. Believe me, that alone is worth sticking around for. Let's go and have a look. So I've woke up to a text this morning from Alan at about five o'clock. He's had an eventful night's fishing at Chigba. He's had a couple of bream, uh, six or seven carp, and a couple of big surprises that he's got in the retainer for us. So we're gonna go and have a look now and see what he's got. Let's go. Good fish, man. What's a in there now? <laughs> well, as I said, it's been a real hectic night. It's not even been, happened at night since about four o'clock this morning. I've managed to catch two enormous catfish, a ruckload of big bream, so many carp I've almost started to lose count. I've got two on here now at once. It's just been incredible, yeah. Um, the fish spawned a couple of weeks ago and uh, they've clearly gotten a munch. Well, I've had to put one rod down, it's just getting too much. That particular fish is stuck in weed. Felt like a really good fish as well, so I'm going to concentrate on trying to get this one in now. Right, that's one down. Nip one per one, nip one per one again, and nip one per one one more time, and there's two in there. <laughs> well. Finally got my breath back. Really was an incredible, mad morning session. Chose my old favorite Chigbra, cracking day to get complex. Dropped in here for the night, and uh, very quickly I got them up on a riser. Almost instantly I had fish taken, but, but after about an hour, I had probably 20 or 30 fish really sort of hovering up the riser pellet. And we nicked a few fish. Um, I had four or five before it got dark. At about sort of two, three in the morning, I just started to get some liners. And uh, I actually introduced 20 balls of, of ground bait, the gyro bug mix, over the top of, of the areas that I was fishing, and it really started to kick things off. The riser pellet coming up, up through the water, uh, and just as the sun was starting to break, you know, all hell broke loose. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'll bust that photo. What's happening to this town? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
bit like that. What are you doing? What are you doing with it, do I? I like it though. It's our new photo studio. Uh, it's been my project for the last two or three weeks, converting it from the old show shed into this new super duper looking filming and uh, photo studio. We've done the jigsaw clothing uh, adverts in here a few days ago, which you've probably all seen all over Facebook and uh, in the mags, etc. Somehow I got lured into modelling it. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like a proper salty potato. Tell us what we're doing, Mikey. We're currently shooting images for magazines, trade this, and website. Of what? Got you got the shot. This is where all the magic happens, as they say. Cut that out, lad. <laughs> so I was just down the lakes taking a few uh, photos. I've had a phone call from Alan. Uh, he told me to get back up here with a camera now because apparently Mikey Wilson's about to do a bit of uh, product testing that could be quite funny. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run up there now. Hopefully we get there in time and see if we can get it on camera. Let's do it. Right, tell us what's happening, Mikey. Uh, well, today I got into work this morning, found these on my desk, then received like two minutes later an email from Alan saying, left some waterproof clothing on your desk. Can you go test them, please? I'll put them on and see how waterproof they really are. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Let's do it. Here we go. Good luck. No more coming through yet. This morning, I got this absolute stunning mid 20. Conditions ain't all that. Give him a bit of bait last night. we have definitely got him up. Before I leave you for this issue, I thought I'd give you a little heads up on one of our up and coming Facebook competitions we're going to be doing in the coming weeks. Basically I've been down the lake today shooting the prize for it and it's even got me excited about this one. Check all this out. Someone, one lucky Facebook viewer, is going to get their hands on all of this. Basically a complete setup. Uh, you've got H-Gun Strongway Bivy, you've got a H-Gun Sleep System, um, you've got H-Gun Chairs, uh, you've got a couple of H-Gun £3 test curve rods, a landing net, You've got two rod pod there. You've even got two S5 bite alarms to put it on. Um, we've got two Shimano bait runners, which were kindly donated by Jordan from Bristol Angling Centre. I appreciate that, mate. Well done. Um, you've got a couple of box logic items. 
Uh, you've got enough TT to wave a stick at. Uh, a couple of DVDs and a couple of hats in there. And one lucky Facebook viewer is going to win it all. Um, like I say, keep your eyes peeled in the coming weeks for that one. For your chance to win. Um, so it's about to start lashing it down. I'm about to get my party head on and fly out to our beef for the week. So I'll catch you all when I'm back for more uh, Nasty V file videos. See you soon.